The first postulate we have to do with angles is postulate 3 in our text, and it's called the protractor postulate. The protractor postulate is very similar to the ruler postulate that we saw with line segments. What it tells us is that if we have an angle, we can assign a numeric value to represent the openness of that angle. So let's say I have an angle. We always set it at the bottom of the protractor. And my angle will open up this much. Looking at our protractor, we see we're at about 51 degrees. So this angle has an openness, and the numeric value we use to represent that is 51 degrees. So if I tell you an angle has a measure of 51 degrees, you should always be able to construct an angle that has exactly that amount of openness. Let's look at one more angle against the protractor. This time we'll do it from the left side. And we'll make this angle extend out here. So our red angle, uh, use a double arc to show that the red and blue have different measures. And this one has a measure of about 107 degrees. Let's give some names here. We'll use A, B, C, D, and E. The measure of angle A, B, D is 107. And the measure of angle E, B, C is 51. All right, now that we can assign numeric values to represent the openness of angles, we'll look at four special angles that appear a lot in geometry. The first one is an acute angle. An acute angle is any angle that has a measure in between 0 and 90 degrees. An example we can draw, angle A, which has a measure of 30 degrees. As long as the measure of angle A is in between 0 and 90, it's an acute angle. Our next angle is a right angle. And this is the special angle that we mentioned in the previous video. I'm sure many of you have seen a right angle before. A right angle has a measure of 90 degrees, exactly. We usually use a red box to indicate when we have a right angle. In pictures, if they do not explicitly state in the problem that the angle is 90 degrees or a right angle, or if you do not see this red box, you cannot assume it's a right, a right angle. For example, you see a drawing like this with A, B, C. You cannot assume that A, B, C is a right angle. Not until you see the little right angle box. Our next angle is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle with a measure that's going to be somewhere in between 90 and 180 degrees. For example, we can have an angle. We'll name this angle J. Say angle J is about, say, 120 degrees here. As long as the measure of angle J is greater than 90, and less than 180, it is considered an obtuse angle. Lastly, we, were ta we will talk about a straight angle. A straight angle, just like it sounds, our two rays create a straight line. So here, the measure of angle A, B, C will always be 180 degrees. And that is true of any straight angle. All right, we'll try an example. Um, make sure you look at the next video for the example. And then we'll also move on to postulate four. Review this video if you need to have any questions about the four special types of angles, what each of those look like, or about the protractor postulate.